What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and welcome back to another video featuring my 1995 Chevy G20 conversion van. So the family, me and the family have gotten to take this thing out a few times and we love it. The dogs love it, the kids love it, and I just love how nice this thing drives and how it feels but I wanna make it look a little bit nicer. So we're gonna start with a deep clean today that we talked about. So we're gonna start by cleaning down the rims. We're gonna move on to uh, fully cleaning the exterior. We're gonna clay bar the vehicle, polish the vehicle, and we're gonna finish it off with a ceramic coating. So I'll walk you through each step and I'll show you guys what products we're using on each step. So let's get started with the rims. We're gonna go ahead and use Super Clean, and uh, they are a sponsor of my channel, and you guys can win a couple of bottles of this. Make sure you go on my Instagram, you follow me, look at the photos that I'm posting. I'm gonna put a few of them on there. Anyone who comments and likes the photo will have a chance to win one of these bottles. I also did another video that you can still go to. Uh, make sure you put a comment on that video. So there are two chances of winning this product. So make sure you go ahead and do that. So let me go ahead and get set up. We're gonna go ahead and super clean these rims down and we'll move on to the next part of cleaning. Well guys, obviously went a lot further with these rims than originally planned. Didn't just clean them, but polished them out and we went ahead and painted the letters and put some dressing on there so you guys can see how amazing these came out. Now, I've already went ahead and made a completely separate video on this that is out. I will leave a link to that. And that is the video that if you comment on, you can win yourself a few bottles of that super clean. So make sure you go and do that. So up next, we're gonna go ahead and clay bar the van completely down. And we're not gonna use traditional clay bar. We're gonna use plumber's putty. This is a lot less expensive. I've used this now on a few vehicles. It works just like clay bar and it's easy to use, it's cheap, and you can toss it out when you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up to do that. We're gonna have a bottle, which I already filled up here with some uh, Dawn dish soap and water. That is a super clean bottle, but in there is just Dawn dish soap and water. I'm gonna be spraying the car down for lubrication. And like I said, we're gonna use plumber's putty. All right, let's get set up. I'll speed through a lot of this, and then we can move on to our polishing stage. All right, guys, we're gonna get started on clay barring the entire van down after we got done washing it. Now, some people skip this step if you're gonna be doing a compound polish, but I prefer to do this. It removes all the dirt and kind of keeps it really clean when you're doing the polishing stage on this. So all you wanna do with the plumber's putty is grab a ball of it like this, like you would with clay, and you're gonna use some kind of lubricant. I use a little Dawn dish soap and some water, and then you're just gonna work it in like you would a normal clay bar. And if you've never done a normal clay bar, what you wanna do is kind of work it in and just rub it across using the lubricant and then you can kind of knead it as you go and that way you're folding over to a new section and if you happen to drop it or you happen to pick up some rocks or something kind of debris off of the vehicle make sure you get rid of it because you don't want that to start scraping the vehicle good thing about the plumber's putty it's five bucks for the entire tub and you'll never need that entire tub you'll probably go through maybe a quarter of that even if you drop a couple of them all right so let's go ahead and do the whole vehicle and then we'll move on to polishing all right guys, I just got finished up with the clay barring. The finish is so smooth. It is gonna make the polishing process extremely fast and that's why I love doing this part of it. Now we use that plumber's putty, which worked really good, but I do gotta fill you in. I took it down to my favorite car wash, pulled it into the bay, cooled the car down by spraying it down because trying to do this with a hot vehicle, I'm in Florida and it is extremely hot and I just couldn't get the, the putty to work right. It was starting to get gooey. Uh, the engine was still kind of hot, so I would tell you, let it cool down because the front end of this was so hot that it just kept melting and it was just sticking all over it. So I had to bring it down here, scrub everything down. But after all that, it came out absolutely amazing. And like I said, the paint is so slick right now and it is gonna make that next step so easy. So let's move on to polishing. All right, guys, here is our setup for polishing. So we're gonna go ahead and use Meguiar's Professional Mirror Glaze. Love this stuff. It's a little more expensive, but it works absolutely amazing. We're gonna go ahead and use the Griot's Fast Finishing Pad combined with our Bauer Dual Action Polisher. You guys know I love this. I've done review on this, and I've used it for many vehicles. So let's get set up. The great thing right now is it's nice and cool outside. We've got a little overcast, so it makes it perfect for polishing out this car. I'm gonna kind of zoom through a lot of it, but I'll kind of fill you in if I need to show you guys anything. So let's get started.
We're also going to wet sand and polish our tail lights and front fog lights. We're going to go ahead and remove our tire cover and go ahead and sand that all down and paint that. And we're also going to take any rusty screws, remove them and dip them in some evapo rust. On top of that, I'm going to go ahead and polish out this aluminum ladder as well as all the chrome pieces. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is painful, all is said and done. All right, guys, I just got done washing the entire vehicle down with our prep shampoo from Avalon King. And this is what you need to do before applying your ceramic coating, or you can wipe it down with some alcohol. So you just wanna make sure the car is completely free of grease, debris, uh, waxes, and so forth. So I washed this one down probably about four or five times before doing the uh, prep shampoo. And that prep shampoo is gonna remove anything that can still be on there. So now that we've done that, let's get on with ceramic coating. So this is the final stage of everything that we've done today and this can be applied to everything from rims your lights your windows um, and we're gonna pretty much hit everything even your chrome pieces and we're gonna take it step by step so I'm gonna do panel by panel I am NOT gonna show you guys in detail of this I'm gonna kind of skim through it because I do have a video that's more in-depth if you want to see that and I also did the uh, Porsche 944 I did a more in-depth video on that so all right let's go ahead and set up I'll get it on then I'll show you guys how everything comes out <laughs> Well guys, it's the next day and the ceramic coating has had a full day to cure. So I wanna do a full walk around and kind of show you everything that we did. And uh, we do have some overcast today, unfortunately, but that just kind of shows you how amazing ceramic coating can be. You can still see the shine coming through without any sun. So let's just walk around and just look at everything and see how awesome it came out. You guys can see here, we painted this, took off the entire tire hanger. Uh, we shined up the aluminum on the ladder here, specifically on the bumper here that came out really, really good. You guys got to see the rims earlier. Now I still have not ceramic coated those because I wanted to do it last and I'm afraid it could rain later today and I want to really get them cleaned down before we apply that, but they still look absolutely amazing. They came out so good. The windows, we ceramic coated those and that makes a massive difference when cleaning the car. It also protects the windows. So I always do that and you can get the trims. You can see how nice, how much nicer these trims are. They came, they were kind of like a grayish color and now they're that full black again. So, and as you can see, ceramic coating is an awesome trim restorer as well. Make sure you guys apply it to all your trim. Definitely your chrome. If you look at this mirror, how amazing this came out. You guys saw that back bumper, check out the front bumper here. And I hit the plastic pieces or rubber pieces right along the front here. And I'm not gonna say this is a quick thing to do. In fact, this took this entire job took me about a week to do counting the rims, but the ceramic coating itself is very easy. It is all in the prep work. And you can see how awesome these rims came out. I still have not ceramic coated those yet, so I'm excited about that. Also, I did not do this bottom panel yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna repaint it due to the fact that it is peeling along here and on the other side. So I kind of kept that out. We did do along the top here, but I did not get the very top of it yet because I'm gonna do that on a different day. 
So let me know in the comments what you guys think if you enjoy these videos of restoring paint. I love this van. This has become an amazing family vehicle for me. If you guys want to see more videos on this van, other things I'm going to do to it, please let me know in the comments. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video. Still hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live. I want to take it all. Standing tall, fear I'm the person you.